Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com, and today we are going to be talking about using CoverFlow on your Macintosh for processing your electronic documents. So most of us probably became familiar with CoverFlow through iTunes. It was a feature Apple introduced uh, a few years ago, and it basically lets you see your music album covers in uh, this really cool looking visual view. So you can, and you can use your mouse or, or touch interface to scroll through your music and see the album covers, and then you can choose your music from there. Uh, it's one of those things where it looks really cool, but I don't know actually how useful it is, uh, but it certainly looks cool. And I think back in the maybe the Leopard days, uh, Apple introduced CoverFlow for Finder. So most Mac users are pr probably familiar with this window here, it's called Finder, and this is where you can uh, view your files. And you're probably f familiar with this view, which is called List View. Uh, you may be familiar with Column View. So what you do is you, you click this button here, which I'll do right now. And it lets you see your, your documents like that and lets you a bit more easily na navigate through the, through the tree, the folder tree. Many people might not be familiar with this button right here, which is the cover flow button. So when I click that, it lets you see your files in the same cover flow uh, scenario that we had in iTunes. Now, when Apple first introduced this, to be honest, I thought it would be pretty useless. Uh, I didn't see, except maybe a few specific circumstances, I really couldn't see why you would want to be able to see your files like that. But what, uh, a few document snap readers, I think Alex Setrapo was probably the first one, told me how he uses CoverFlow to process his documents. And the more I think about it, the more it's a very clever way to do it. So if you go to, so what he does is he, and what I've started to do is scan documents to an inbox folder, in this, and then you have your all your documents here in the folder. And he has a CoverFlow window open, and if if you hit if you hit the CoverFlow button and it it's too small to see your documents, what you do is you take your mouse down here and you click on this little icon here and you drag it. So you click here and you drag down, and that will make your your windows bigger and smaller. So that allows you to see your documents, and then what he does is then he goes through and processes each one. If for whatever reason this isn't big enough still, you can hit the space bar and it will turn on quick look and it will let you zoom in even more. So what you can do is very quickly go through and rename. So what I recommend you do is hit enter. So you just use your keyboard to go through each file in the list. When you're ready to rename a file, you hit enter and then you can go in and give it whatever kind of name you want. Uh, Auto respond. And then from there, you can very quickly go through and rename all your files just using the keyboard commands. Now, if you want, what you can do is, and this especially works if you have a big screen, is you could say have your cover flow window over on the side. And then maybe have another, you know, your your archive window here on the folder where you're going to be copying files to over here on the right. And what you can do is you can go through, name your file, and then just drag it right over to the appropriate folder wherever it needs to go. So it allows you to very quickly process your documents uh, by moving stuff around. Another trick that I like to do is use applications like Text Expander and Hazel. So for example, Let's say I wanted to, and CoverFlow works really good for this. So let's just pretend that this document here was my gas bill, which here in British Columbia is called Fortis Gas. So what I would do is I hit enter, and then I put in the date. So let's say it's 0430. And then I have a text expander snippet so that if I type excl exclamation point FG, it automatically expands it to be Fortis Gas. And then when I hit enter, you can see that I didn't do anything. It automatically moved it. And if I go over here to my bills folder, you can see here's that Fortis gas bill that we were just looking at. 
And so what I did is I used, as I said, an application called Text Expander to name the file. And then I have an application called Hazel running, which uh, will automatically let you set rules. So I have a rule set for that inbox folder to watch for anything with the name Fortis Gas and will automatically move it for me. And so that's just a quick overview of how to use CoverFlow to process your documents. If you have other tips, just head down to the comments and, and share your tips. If you want to learn more about this or Hazel or Text Expander or anything else about going paperless, head over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.